Class example one, you had two minutes reading time. So this is what you pick up in the reading time. It is 31 January 2021, so just to note where we are at. And you are currently planning your first audit of Cars Limited. First audit for engagement, I make a note here, is a question, is it just my first audit or is it the audit firm's first time we're auditing cars? So we have to wait for a bit more information to determine that. Cars Limited year end is 28 February. So year end is 28 February. So we are planning a month before year end. Cars Limited sells pre-owned cars online. So I've got an idea now about the industry. They are online, so I know that they have IT requirements. During your risk assessment procedures, you were informed by management that Cars Limited expanded into a new market, selling new cars during the 2021 financial year. I'm just going to stop there and I'm just going to say that there was a change. There's a new market. And as a result, revenue increased significantly. So now I'm just going to make a note here. Revenue has increased. You have been provided with the following information to calculate materiality. And I just have a look here. I've got prior period figures. I've got budget for 2022 and I've got current year to date, 31 Jan 2021. So all I'm making a note here is this is for 11 months because year end is 28 Feb. Okay, and there's my required. Calculate planning materiality. So, calculating planning materiality, guys, I know I'm looking at the maximum quantitative amount for which these financial statements could be misstated. It's eight marks. All right, so I know when I'm calculating materiality, the first thing I need to do is choose my figures and I need to justify them. Then I need to choose my benchmark and I need to justify it. I then need to calculate my range and conclude. Alright, so in terms of my figures, I come back up here. And I can see, I've got prior period, which is great. I've got budgeted for 2022, but we are doing the audit for 2021. So that's not really going to be relevant. And then I've got current year to date. Now I know that where current year to date are available, those are the figures I want to be using because these are the figures I'm going to be expressing an opinion on. The problem is I'm expressing an opinion on the full year and I've only got a current to date. So I need to now go and gross those up. So under my, my figures, I'm going to say his current year to date And therefore, these are the figures that are going to be the best representative of the financial statements that we are going to be expressing opinion on. Therefore, I just need to gross the income statements or the statements of comprehensive income figures up to 12 months. So I've selected my figures, okay? And I can go and explain here, budgeted would not be applicable. Because they are for 2022, and we are trying to 
perform an audit for 2021. Prior period, is there any reason why prior period wouldn't be applicable? Oh, look at the notes I've made. I've made a note here there was a new market. And so prior period will not take into account the new markets, so prior period would not be applicable. Due to the new market on the new year. And so I choose current year to date. I now need to go to my benchmarks. And I've said prior period is out, budget is out. So I'm going to go with current to date. So in terms of my benchmark, I need to go and see, is there an income generating or the asset intents? What type of business are they? And I can go and see, I look at the revenue, even prior to current year, nicely, nice number for revenue. Gross profit is big. There's net profit. So I can see just based on this, that they are income generating. They are profit orientated. Look at the current assets, total assets. I can see they've got a nice total for assets. So I can see that they are asset intense. Okay, and everything else just doesn't appear to be big enough. So I'm going to say benchmarks, they are profit orientated or income generating, selling cars. Therefore, revenue, gross profits, and net profits are acceptable. I then also say they are asset intensive. Therefore, assets is acceptable. I then need to consider if there's any reason why any of these benchmarks shouldn't be used. And again, up in this information, I see that revenue increased significantly. So revenue is clearly volatile or not stable. So I'm going to say revenue increased due to the new market. Therefore, not stable. And therefore, not acceptable. So basically I'm saying gross profit, net profit or assets would be an acceptable basis. Okay, but if I then go and compare my gross profit in the prior year to the current to date and my net profit in the prior year to the current to date, I can see that along with the revenue it is also not stable, they are volatile as compared to my assets prior 51 to 49 million. So I then go and add that gross profits and net profits also appear volatile, therefore not acceptable. And so I conclude that I'm going to use my assets. I then go and calculate my range for assets. So I take my assets of 49, 8, 8, 7, 7, 5, 9, and I multiply it by 1% and I multiply it by 2%. My two calculations to get my range, the minimum and the maximum. And I then have a range for my materiality. I'm not going to do the calculation here, guys. Then I can now go and conclude. There's an increased risk because of the new market. Therefore, I want to have a lower materiality. And therefore, I'm going to choose the lower range. So the 1% of that figure. 
Okay, let's go and have a look at the solution here, guys. You can see prior, not acceptable because it doesn't take the new expansion in. Forecasts are not acceptable because if you look at the figures comparing the forecast to the current actual to date, they far exceed, so they're not a true representation. But ultimately, guys, it's because they are for 2022, not forecast for 2021 back in the day. Okay, actual will there be grossed up. Benchmark, they sell cars, they profit orientated, so any of those can be applicable. They large asset base, so they're asset intense. And then we say, but revenue, gross profit, net profit, not stable as a result of the expansion, so total assets. Calculation is then applied, there we go. And because it's our first audit and there was a significant change, inherent risk is high, so we want to lower materiality. And as a result, you go with the lower range. Anything between this, provided it is on the lower side, will be acceptable. Guys, I just want you to see there's some notes I made here. If either of the income generating accounts were stable, so revenue, gross, profit, net profit were actually stable, you would have included them as benchmarks. But then you would have to have grossed those amounts up to get the annual figure. You don't have to do that with the assets, okay, because it's a balance. But your income and expenditure items, you have to gross up because they change monthly because of the transactions. Okay, so you'd have to get times by 12 divided by 11 because there was 11 months. And then, for an example of an outlier, go and perform those calculations of revenue, gross profit, and net profit, and then you will see that net profit is actually an outlier. Just so that you can see what an outlier would look like, and then you would know in your conclusion if net profit was an acceptable benchmark to say it's an outlier because its range is so different from the others. And so I can't use it. I ignore it and then I use the others to help me determine my materiality. Okay, let's quickly go into RSA 320 so you can see how it's laid out in the standard. 